another sip of that first just to get primed. Cleanse my palate after I have this. Oh. Are you doing some plants mm. between two ferns <laughs> style? Have you got a plant business? I will have. Let, this is an ideal launching platform for it. Okay. So Chris, when are they going to be in shot? Oh, yeah, both. That is typical only child. Good. Can we get that out of there? Or are we going to look like proper outcome works? <laughs> this. Boysenberry Ice Cream IPA. Even though we were talking about, you know, purity laws on the last podcast, this is an abomination of... I think they would genuinely rescind any of my German heritage if they knew how much I was talking up cultures and then making this. It's fucking delicious though. It's the fad IPA kind of at the moment, but probably behind the Neepers, I would say. But okay. it's just the ice cream part comes from extra lactose. So probably a little bit sweeter than, you know, your typical run of the mill. Uh, so basically a just pretty standard IPA and let it ferment for two weeks. Then after that, we chucked in some mosaic Galaxy, Kill or Boys and Berries. I reckon that was about it. Like, do we give the warning not a IPA drinker down the bottom somewhere, like a little graphic? I can, I can still put forward an opinion uh, regardless of my personal preferences. I'm not an IPA drinker, but I do enjoy a I guess an ice cream IPA. Yep. And I like this. It's not as creamy as I was expecting no, it to be. That's probably So you're expecting a thicker mouthfeel. I was ex it's got quite a thick mouthfeel but the thickness comes from the alcohol content rather yeah. than so this like is, creaminess. Yeah, eight percent beer. So I guess like you're getting like that warming alcohol. I think you're also like you get like the dry hop sort of sticks in your mouth a little bit as well so you get it's, like that real hoppy hit as well and i feel there's maybe a little bit too much going on for perhaps how it's supposed to work but yeah i think this it almost is like the very first like hit is a bit sweet but then it's quite tart in the middle with the fruit then i guess you get the hops bitterness yeah, come through definitely. i think that's where you get at the tail end and kind of in between like so you get a little bit of like the other flavour coming through, but for me, I really like the bold flavours. So for me, I would have rather have like a real sweet boysenberry fruit flavour, or like a really lactose sweet sort of like flavour. But then you kind of just finish with a you know a mosaic sort of taste in your mouth, and then you know, it's not the worst thing. But like for what we were going for, perhaps we probably didn't need the dry hop as much as we did. It's very fruity. I don't know that it's notably boysenberry flavoured. Yeah. Yeah, I think like for all the people that have come past, and I know I'm very hard on myself. They say, "Oh, you have a boysenberry ice cream IPA. I want to taste it." I'm like, it's probably lacking in two thirds of those descriptors. I'm sorry. So, so I think that's yeah. I think that's false. I think you've done a really good job there. We made a 20 litre batch, so this is only 10 litres that got the boysenberries. I am holding pretty high hopes for the other half that got mango. Yeah, I reckon that's going to come out a lot better. I think that complements like the aroma of the hops a little bit better. Like, you know how it already has that tropical sort of yeah. smell to it, so yeah, I think that's going to be the winner, but... Make I it. would dial in the dry hop. I think so. And I think that it needs... I don't know if it necessarily is as simple as just putting in more lactose, or... Yeah. Ba ba to try and balance it a little bit, and I do think the alcohol is very... Enough. It's Well, like, I don't think it's bad, but it's you can taste that no, it's very well. strong beer, yeah. and sometimes... Obviously, sometimes it's nice to not taste the strength <laughs> of the beer. Not to say that I think it should be less alcoholic. I just think that it's a strong note that is maybe mm. stronger than it could be. Yeah. But I think the flavour is really, really good. So you, have you tried the base on its own yet? No, didn't even think to do that. Just split I've it. Just done the two. In half, half, so. And, and boysenberry was for what reason? Oh, purely because it was my favourite ice cream flavour and it... I kind of like was putting it together thinking it would be an ice cream IPA, okay. so that's kind of where that all came from. So, yeah. so next time, what are we going to do? Base yeah. version, dial in the dry hop, bump up the lactose, and I think maybe split it even again and try a different fruit. 
this is on the make again list. I think so, this could be a quick repeat. Yeah, definitely. And we'll get some uh, some float action happening as well. And float. Mm. Done.